Hey guys, so today I'm here with an overview of the Google Chrome Web Store. Uh, so this has just went live and I'd like to take this opportunity to go ahead and give you guys a overview of it, show you how it works and show you how you do everything. Um, so as you can see here, the interface is really quite nice looking. Uh, in fact, it kind of looks a little bit similar to what the Mac App Store is going to look like. Although, of course, the, one of the major differences being that the Mac App Store is only for the Mac, while the Chrome Web Store is for any computer with the Chrome uh, with the Chrome browser, which of course includes uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, and obviously Chrome OS. Uh, so I'm going to just give you guys a little tour of it. Uh, one thing is is that this is actually the new hub for everything Chrome. So in addition you know, to downloading the apps, you now download your extensions as well as your themes here. So we can go ahead and just jump into the themes. Um, you can see here we can go ahead and download any of these themes. We can scroll through and do whatever we like. Um, same thing goes for the extensions, you know, for these standard extensions that everyone loves about Google Chrome. You can go ahead and pick them out and download them just fine. However, the major thing is definitely going to be the app support. Let me show you how this works. Um, so there's going to be a slider and there's featured. However, let's just go ahead and pick something random. Let's pick uh, Google Books. So by clicking on this, we have a little uh, page where we can scroll through our screenshots and see you know, more about it. Um, but in addition, we can also scroll down some here, see a description, see reviews. Uh, it'll tell you what version it's at, uh, when it was updated, all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's say we want to go ahead and install Google Books. So we click install. It doesn't take just a moment. And it will bring us to the new tab page where it shows our apps. Um, so you can see I've already downloaded a couple, but let's go ahead and, go ahead and jump into Google Books. So here we go. Uh, now it already shows I have three books already installed. Um, so we can go ahead and read through any of these books. So we can just click on this one and show you how it works. We can go ahead and read now, read on the device, um, etc., etc. There's all kinds of different things you can do with this. Um, now let's go ahead and back up here and go back to the Chrome Web Store. Um, now of course that's just not the only thing. Now there also are games. So I'll go ahead and jump into games. Um, Pop it was one of the big ones. So I'll go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, Pop it, you can go ahead. This actually will be coming pre installed in some Chrome, I believe in Chrome 9. So you actually will go ahead and automatically have this one, and I believe next month or so. But you can go ahead and download it now. I already do have it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the new tab page and open Pop it. Um, now, all these are going to be done in HTML5 as well as several other brand new web technologies. Um, so they're going to run really quite nicely. Uh, now, this is a fairly simple game. We can go ahead. I just jump right in on into it. Um, I'm not so sure how well my screen recorder is picking this up, but the performance is very, very nice and very smooth. Um, you can go ahead and just pop the balloons. You know, so it's, it's, it's the same kind of game you see all the time, but uh, it works quite well. Um, so there you go, guys. That's just about it for my overview of the Chrome Web Store. Now, there is much more. You can go ahead and also purchase uh, apps. Um, and there's all kinds of stuff. So guys, definitely go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, of course, we'll have the link to check it out. It's chrome.google.com slash web store. So go ahead and check it out on your computer. And definitely let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.